I have SpyFu. I also have other SEO tools. I think we have about 26 other SEO tools. And I'm going to give you my honest opinion on SpyFu and whether it's worth for you to invest your money into getting this tool. I'm going to dive straight into the pros of this tool. Based on what I've seen, SpyFu is one of the most affordable tools out there. So it's perfect in terms of accessibility for smaller businesses and smaller agencies who are just getting their feet wet into the land of SEO. But that doesn't mean that bigger size agencies or bigger size businesses shouldn't also use this tool. Tool actually offers a lot of good insights that we'll go over here in a minute. It's also super simple to use and super user friendly. I think even if you don't have a SEO knowledge or don't know much about SEO, you can easily navigate this tool. Another great thing that I like about SpyFu is that all plans offer unlimited search results and a data exports. Some other tools, they will charge you, like I know SEMrush and Ahrefs charge you every time you hit a certain uh, a data point where you're like, okay, well, I've exported over 10,000 keywords. Well, you wanna export 10 more thousand keywords, here, you're gonna have to pay us another 125 bucks monthly retainer. SpyFu doesn't do that. Everything here is unlimited. You can download like millions of keywords. You can export millions of data points, all free. Well, part of every single subscription plan. Inside SpyFu, you have multiple different types of tools. You have SEO research tools. You have PPC research tools. You have keyword dedicated research tools. You have backlink tools, like you can understand where your competitors get in the backlink. And then SpyFu also has their own backlink outreach system where they can help you identify the contact information of specific sources that you might be interested in getting the links from. And then you can directly send the emails straight from uh, SpyFu's um, uh, platform. And then you can also build lists like, you know, domain lists, keyword lists, custom lists, leads, things like that. I don't really use that uh, with SpyFu. And then you have tracking you can set up like a specific tracking in terms of like keywords, things like that, and they do have uh, of reports. I think the SpyFu's keyword research tool is pretty good. And then when it comes to keywords, I think SpyFu does a great job tracking more keywords than platforms like SEMrush and Ahrefs. Let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna take bigblanket.com as, as an example here. This is a website that sells blankets, things like that. So. SEMrush shows that it ranks for a total of 9,137 uh, keywords. Now, what, 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 is, what does href show? Href shows that it ranks for 7,200 keywords. Okay, let's take a look at SpyFu. SpyFu shows that this domain ranks for 13,101 keywords. Huge difference in a keyword data, right? This is the same exact reason why I like to have SpyFu in back of my pocket so that way I can quickly like review all the keywords that brands are actually acknowledged for by Google. Yeah, you could do all sorts of like, you know, manual tracking and things like that, but this kind of gives me an idea of exactly like where things are. Uh, and obviously like when you, you do want to, as part of your SEO strategy, have a manual tracking, but it's also important for you to see the clear picture of exactly how many keywords your website ranks for. So that way you can create a good strategy based on those keywords that are already ranking in the top 10 pages of Google. We're going to give a huge plus to SpyFu on that one. Good job, guys. Now let's talk about all the bad stuff about SpyFu. SpyFu does not offer much in terms of technical SEO side of the things. It doesn't have those capabilities like SEMrush or Ahrefs or Screaming Frog. It also doesn't have any content optimization features. Another thing is uh, global data coverage. SpyFu limits the domain analysis to 16 territories. Unlike other tools like SEMrush who offer data from over 120 different countries. Another thing that I really don't like about SpyFu is insights about authority score. Tools like, you know, SEMrush provide a great insight to your authority score because that's how Google measures the strength of your website and how authoritative you are to go after the keywords that are highly competitive. So SpyFu doesn't actually provide a clear authority score for any domain you're investigating, which is pretty important matrix for assessing the site's SEO strength. Another thing that SpyFu lacks is a detailed search intent analysis, which is very valuable for understanding user behavior and optimizing your content accordingly to the user behavior that you have identified. 
Another thing that I want to add is while they do offer backlink analysis, it doesn't provide as extensive backlink management tools as some other tools like SEMrush or Ahrefs does from the backlink side of the work. Spyfu also doesn't offer a feature to crawl a website and discover potential issues that search engine crawlers might encounter when crawling your website. I guess you can toss that over to the technical side of the SEO work, but I think it's a pretty important tool to have as part of a SEO tool. I know a lot of other bigger tools uh, compared to SpyFu that are also implementing like a social media scheduling and things like that, but I'm not gonna make a big deal out of that because I don't think that's directly important uh, for SEO work. Even though social shares and things like that are, I don't think scheduling and things like that are really like that important for that exact SEO work that you're using these tools for. And the last final con of SpyFu is lack of PPC data from Google side of the world. I'm not gonna hammer these guys down too much on this because other tools also lack this data and nobody's 100% perfect, but SpyFu definitely has to do a little bit of a better job from the PPC side of the work. All right, now let me show you guys how this tool works so that you can actually see it visually. Uh, we're still using the same exact domain, bigblanket.com. They rank for 13,000 keywords. Their monthly estimated SEO clicks is 16,000. Um, and then this shows us here like the monthly estimated SEO click change. This is a tool that SpyFu released, I believe. Uh, it's by SpyFu, it's called um, uh, Rival Flow AI. So it's like a content AI. I haven't actually like, you know, played around with that. So I can't give you my feedback on that. But on the bottom here, Overview tool shows us like, you know, out of uh, 13,000 keywords that these guys rank for, how many keywords have been improved with rankings, uh, how many keywords are actually new, newly ranked, and then how many keywords actually have lost their rankings. Um, this is a very useful analysis here. It kind of gives you everything that you need right off the bat um, and easy to digest as well. You have the competitors here uh, that's listed. By the way, competitors might not be exactly your direct competitors. Competitors are going to be created based on what kind of keyword commonalities that your uh, website has with other websites. That's all how all these tools create the competitor. So they might not be the competitor that you think, but they're competing with you organically, positioning and going after the same keywords that you're going after. And that's how SpyFu and other tools put that together. Same thing with like, you know, the PPC. They have way more keywords than what uh, SpyFu is showing here. But hey, again, lack of uh, PPC data. And then this is the competitor shared keywords. So you can get a, a real broken down data of like, you know, where you stand exactly um, among your competition. And then another great thing that SpyFu has is like, you know, you have like all the keywords, right? All the shared keywords, right? So you have a core keywords, you have the questions out of all the keywords that you guys rank for. Here's how many questions. And then you have the missing keywords, right? So these are the keywords that other guys have that you don't have, that you're missing, that you could potentially skim through all 3,070, uh, 700 different uh, missing keywords and identify if there is any keyword opportunities for you to either better optimize your pages, develop better content, I mean, whatever that might be, right? So we're not talking about SEO strategy here, we're just going over the tool. Um, and then you have your top keywords that generate the most uh, clicks to your website. And then you have your top pages. Um, and then you have your uh, top Google Ads by recommendation. And then you have Google Ads history. And then it kind of shows you like, you know, the campaigns that you've, you've launched. Um, newly ranked keywords. You can also like select this based on uh, the date when these keywords were ranking and then figure out really what you did that's driving these keywords and pushing them towards the first page of Google. So it's like a good insight that gives you that opportunity to understand and really strategize. And then you have the uh, inbound links. Um, and inbound links are like, you know, very important and you can actually identify that. Uh, SpyFu does a pretty good job with these things. But then again, like the backlinks are not as much as like, you know, SEMrush. SEMrush would have a lot more in-depth data analysis on backlinks. Um, and uh, that's pretty much it. That's the overview tool right here. And then if you move over to the uh, SEO research, 
um, this kind of gives you like a, a better visual of you know what this whole thing looks like you can also select your data from you know last two years to see the chart you can you know do last five years and you can do all time um, same exact like a data history thing that everybody else has and then it breaks down like you know your inbound links and then you have you know this this is how much percent you have uh, blogs the news the affiliate links the forums government edu uh, links directories this is what actually makes the whole backlink profile of you know all the links that bigblanket.com is getting to have the authority that they have to be able to rank for 13,100 keywords that they rank for right now and then also like you know there is a lot of lost keywords there is a lot that goes into understanding why brand would be losing keywords. You have to like, you know, dive in and really figure out, was it my links? Was it like, you know, my content? Was it like, there were so many different areas of improvement and you can understand that based on the data. And this is why these tools are super important. It also shows you like the uh, history of rankings that they've collected. So that's six years and four months total. Um, they also have this little, like a broken down here that shows you like, Hey, I mean, you did lose 7,000 keywords, but 1,551 keywords just fell off. So you got to actually like, you know, look into why these keywords fell off. I mean, that's a huge amount of keywords that could have impacted the traffic. They could have impacted the sales. They could have impacted the backend conversions because the, the traffic coming in from SEO is not just converting the one, one time because you're collecting, you're nurturing the ones that did not buy on the first engagement with your website. So that's a very important data to figure out. But we also have 348 keywords just made it too. So 600 and, uh, 617 keywords are almost there, almost where? On the first page of Google. So they're in between like 11 to the 16 positions. So you just gotta like push them. And then you have uh, keywords that are actually ranking from the 11th position, which is the second page of Google, all the way up to the 10th position, which is 11,532. So your quickest win opportunities would be focusing on these 617 keywords. Obviously, not all of them. You have to uh, pick and choose which one may actually make sense and then and create the campaigns that would actually move those keywords in a golden triangle in the first page of Google. Um, and then it kind of shows you this uh, top organic competitors here so you can actually get an idea of like, you know, what that looks like with, with the charts and the, where, where you guys are crossing each other two year, five year and all time. Um, I got to make another, uh, this is a review video, but I, I will make a spy foo, uh, a tutorial video. It's going to be beginner friendly. So everybody's going to be able to come in here and actually <laughs> dive into spy foo. Um, and then you can also like, you know, add other domains in here to create a combat so that you can identify like the missing keyword opportunities. Uh, you can check out all the keywords everybody ranks for like core keywords that are generating the most traffic. Um, the questions that everybody Everybody ranks for that you're not covering in terms of like you know blogs or a snippet content so there is a lot of things that that you can do here right um, and then going down in here so you have like you know the ranking history we kind of went over all these things and if you click into them it'll give you like you know more insights like for example like these keywords right you go ahead and um, you go ahead and like let's click the improved keywords it will show us here the list of keywords there we go it gives you it gives you all that keyword inside you can actually export the data you have multiple different options right another thing that i really love about spyfu is how it directly exports into the google sheets we heavily use google sheets around in my company so you can also copy uh, keywords to the clipboard you can copy the tables to the clipboard um, so there is actually a lot of ways to export this data um, so that's, uh, that's pretty much, uh, insights into like, you know, how this whole thing looks. I'm not going to make this video like a 30 minutes just to kind of give you guys my feedback. I'm just going to draw, jump straight into, is this worth it? Look, SpyFu can be a valuable tool. I'm using it. It has its advantages and disadvantages, which I went over. It's a super affordable pricing and it's super user friendly. Everything is super easy to digest in terms of data, making it super accessible to wide range of users. However, it may not be the best choice for those needing more comprehensive suite of SEO tools or highly advanced features like SEMrush, Ahrefs, or a couple of other tools have. My take on this is this, if you don't want to spend a lot of money on SEMrush or Ahrefs or a couple of other tools out there, use this tool. 
SpyFu may not be the most comprehensive SEO tool on the market, but it does offer a good competitor analysis, good keyword features, and it's affordable. And you guys also saw that it actually has a lot more keyword data when it comes to like the keyword overview of what keywords your website ranks for on Google, then SEM Russian Ahrefs, which are two most expensive SEO tools on the market. So if you're a small business or even mid-sized business, like you would want to use this. If you're an SEO expert and you have an SEO agency, I mean, we spend thousands of dollars a month on just a bunch of SEO tools that we have for our clients because we like to like make sure that, hey, what does that tool know that this tool doesn't know? And we're a bunch of like a data nerds. We consistently analyze data. So if you're like an SEO agency or something like that, I would recommend having SpyFu along with all the other tools. I mean, it's not going to be breaking your bank account, but giving you some important data points that you could utilize as part of your SEO strategy that could help your clients produce more revenue and ultimately paying you more. I know this video kind of turned into like a tutorial mode in a, in a way, but uh, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope this video helps you make an uh, informed decision whether this is the right investment for you or not. If you do have any questions, please comment them below this video and I'll be more than happy to answer them. And I will make a next video, which is going to be the spy food tutorial. And I'll probably feature it here somewhere in annotations or in description or in end screen. So I'll see you guys.